a lot of people have been messing around with this deck. I've been playing this deck, Playmaker Duel Links, Duel Links Best Decks. Anybody with a Duel Links tab has been playing this deck. And there seems to be just so much conversation around this deck, how people are running it, you know, their choices as to what they play. And I definitely have an opinion on that, my boy. So if you want to hear more of that information, be sure to use the uh, links to just kind of flow around this video as you see fit. But this is just basically going to be a discussion of my thoughts about this deck, the ratios and everything. So just to kind of start out right now, Galaxy Photon is definitely the best skill for this deck. There's tons of other skills you can use, but Galaxy Photon is going to be your most consistent. Um, honestly, it's because you can search out this card. If you couldn't go get Galaxy Cyclone from Galaxy Photon's effect, this skill would be mediocre, subpar at best. But being able to search your deck for back row removal first and then proceed to using that back row removal and having the ability to pop face up uh, back row once you've already used it if the duel goes beyond that first turn is phenomenal now what's also really handy as well you know playing a ratio of two galaxy cyclones gives you the ability to pretty much start out strong if you open with a galaxy cyclone in hand and for whatever reason you need to get the second galaxy cyclone in hand you definitely can do that in this deck and have room enough left for your combo and then being able to pop two back row typically can win you the game especially if you hard drew into photon stream of destruction or you have photon stream of destruction already in your hand now when you get to the monsters everyone kind of has a lot of opinions about this uh before i jump to the monsters how many photon streams should you run i mean definitely i think two is enough i feel like three is like pushing it to the limit and basically, because if you're playing three, there's a good chance that you can brick on it. However, if you're playing three, there's a good chance you'll open with two. And that's amazing on the first turn. But now let's kind of talk about the monster. So as I was going through my stream, a lot of folks was telling me constantly that I should only run two crusher or one crusher. And I should be running more of the uh, photon lizard. And I would definitely say I get why people say that. And also, I do understand why you will run a run an additional Photon Lizard. Kind of helps you search your deck out a little bit better. But I would argue against that. I would say at the most, you need at least two Photon Crusher. Three, of course, if you're like me and you're just, you know, pessimistic about not having a, the right level four. So basically, the reason why I'm running this is because a lot of times you get a field where you can put onto your board your uh lord galaxion and then you can drop the galaxy eyes photon dragon and you'll follow up with photon advancer if you're following up with photon advancer in this scenario a lot of the times this card is removed from the field if it's not karma cut or its own effect or anything like that when this card is removed from the field this card instantly drops a thousand attack points and goes to a thousand your damage on the board becomes three thousand you cannot kill and then it goes to your opponent's turn and that's not good but if for whatever reason you were able to get off a normal summon in the same situation you would get this monster out with your galaxy on and your photon dragon you'll have two monsters that can swing on the field with two thousand and that's a firm two thousand each so that's gonna be 8,000 damage. So if this monster is karma cut, if you have to use his effect to move a monster off the board, whatever the case may be, you have two solid monsters with 2,000 attack. And in this deck, which is an all or nothing style deck, I really feel like you can't afford not to have a beater. Because when you have out Photon Thrasher, he can't attack if there's another monster on the field. If you have out Photon Vanisher, Photon Vanager can attack the first turn as special summoned and it cannot be normal summoned. And then the only, that leaves you with the only other beater is Photon Advancer. And if this card, as I mentioned before, leaves the field, this goes to instant 1000. So that's not gonna help you um, in the long run. And that's just kind of why I make the choices that I made here. Photon Lizard is an amazing card. Basically for, your, for the price of your normal summon, which is what people, I guess, fail to recognize, you know, just seeing that, of course, you can pop it and get a card, but 
in for the cost of your normal summon you can tribute this card and get a card from your deck basically the special summon the only reason i don't run more than one photon lizard is that if i had two photon lizards in my hand basically that's I, that's a brick i can't do anything with two photon lizards if the deck just decide to shuffle up and hand me two photon lizards i'd be dead if the deck shuffle up and for whatever reasons hands me a photon lizard and a uh uh galaxy eyes i'm dead but basically the whole idea is to get photon lizard behind any one of these other level four cards even uh photon uh vanisher in some situations but basically you just want to use your photon lizard to always search out the vanisher because if you can get the vanisher basically vanisher is always going to guarantee you your plus one and if you get your plus one you can morph it into this or morph it into this which more than likely you'll be morphing into this and that's gonna open up your win condition now as we're talking about the plus one i'm running two galaxy Eyes photon dragons yes it does increase the chance for a brick however running two does two things number one it guarantees you your plus one if you open with one because you can still go into it uh with photon vanisher number two running two allows you to play two in one turn and you might think that that's like a novel thing but there are random situations where summoning a second galaxy eyes can win you the duel or provide that additional level of control to a board so that you can effectively use your photon stream of destruction to actually win good so let's talk about the extra deck a little bit you got star liege lord galaxian Lord Galaxian is the breadwinner of the deck. You already know Lord Galaxian. You know this card is absolutely amazing. It lets you pretty much summon your galaxy eyes from your hand or your deck, not from the graveyard. Um, and basically this card is gonna pretty much get your engine started. With Galaxian and um, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, that's 5,000 damage on the board. And basically if there's anything uh, 1,000 points or below on the field, you automatically win the duel if that monster's in attack position. But outside of that, you pretty much got to work for it and use stuff like Photon Stream of Destruction. So another card I'm using in here is Pelia Dynamo. This card is really good. It's another light monster, so you can play it in this deck comfortably. Pelia Dynamo basically drops any monster on the field's attack points to zero. And you got to think about your deck like this on your first turn you can establish 5,000 damage and then on your next turn let's say you have to drop pallia dynamo you can put another 2,000 damage so that's 7,000 damage you can deal in two turns you just got to figure out how you're going to get that damage across and that's pretty much like your bread and butter you know using stuff like pallia dynamo and using lord galaxian but then you have even more stuff because if you're playing it correctly and you're using your galaxy eyes photon dragon as a plus for your galaxy photon skill basically you're going to eventually get to a point where final turn is going to come down you're going to have two level fours to make one more exceeds if your life points are really low you can exceed into utopia ray for the utopia ray combo any monster on the field with 3000 attack or below can be dropped to zero basically and you can use this monster to swing in for 4,000. So think about it like this. Again, if they survive 5,000 damage somehow, if they survive 2,000 damage somehow, and you survive all the way down into having pretty much one combo left, you can still do this. I rarely do the Utopia Ray combo, honestly, because I kind of clean up before it even gets to that standpoint and um there is some interesting uh cards that you can actually play uh using the utopia ray combo halfway to forever which is another card that i've been using it's been really really good halfway to forever pretty much allows you to use and exceed summon in your opponent's turn basically to summon utopia utopia can negate the attack or you utopia can sit on the field and basically you chaos succeeds into utopia ray and then attack for game and then just to round up the level fours i'm running constellar omega you know having something that just hits for a little 
a little harder than 2000 definitely works but also because it's 2000 attack if goes within the uh, flow of galaxy eyes effect if there's two monsters with 2000 attack you can tribute those two monsters to bring him out on the special summon and that's another reason why you want to focus on making sure your monsters have 2000 attack and then with the galaxy photon you have to use light so i mean i hope that all made sense i had a lot of fun playing this deck you know as you continue to watch this video you're gonna see some more stuff from my live stream uh of some games that we played that were pretty good and then also you're gonna take a look at some of the dual replays that have some really spicy action in there for you but that's it for me today my boys i'm gonna be getting back out of here and uh now a message from our sponsor my boys the time has finally come yt dance merch store is now open we've got the invoca baby we've got the dark magic attack and the shiranui dog Use the link in the description below to get this hot merch, my boy. It's only going to be available for February, and when it's gone, it's gone. So click the link below to never miss. If we do search for back row removal, it's to blow up your card. If I don't search for back row removal, I'm going to have the banish for your monster, so... Oh, well, hunt time. Hunting time. Hunting time. Hunting time. Ooh, treacherous. Mmm. Mmm. He's gonna need that. He's gonna need that, boy. He's gonna need that. Never forget the name of Rise up! Starleash! Yeah, I wish he had Galaxy Cyclone. <laughs> Sorry. That's the that's how uh, Yu-Gi-Oh goes, man. Sometimes you don't have that shit. That's why uh you know <laughs> it's haha. -ha. Here we go. Alright, Photon Vanisher. Alright, plus up the dragon. Uh send him back take my spell card here's my spell card all right time to give him the power time for the power the overlay network i exceed summon i exceed summon love it Star Liege, Lord Galaxia. <laughs> Love Galaxia. All right. I love how they do the animation for this card. I don't think I'm ever gonna get sick of that animation. Not even once. Uh, not even once. Let's go, Joey Wheeler. Nice. Uh, is that it really? I one card in play to activate Take that back row from you. Right, geeky ass haircut, I see. Attack my beast. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Grito. Grito. I didn't notice Grito. What is this? Bachi Kuchi, what? Oh, it's a rank three exceeds thing. Okay. Let's see what he does. All right. Uh, Barakuchi. I'm not sure what that does again. Let's see. So if this card attacks the defense position, monster inflict piercing damage to the opponent. Yikes. I got one defense position beast. I'm not too worried about this. Unless he's got the nuts. He's got that like mass change for bugs. We'll see. Nani. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Photon Crusher. Here I come. Banish. Okay. Damn. Sucks for you. <laughs> Actually, when he did that, I wasn't sure if they were gonna... I wasn't sure if that was gonna replay the battle or not. Because, I mean, the monster didn't move, I guess. But technically... There was a monster added to the field, so I guess it replayed the battle, so it still got to do what it was going to do. Maybe take out one of these crushers for an additional uh, spell card. But that's pretty much it. Photon lizard. All right. Like I only reason I don't like running more than one lizard is because sometimes you open with two lizards and you don't have uh, a special summon. And that happened to me so many times. I just was like, all right, one lizard should be fine because you can always work with a normal summon. So let's hit up the Galaxia. But honestly, it's like you can't, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you, you can't really tell like which is going to be the best because you never really know what you're going to come up against when you come up against a uh, opponent. Like is one back row banish going to be enough or do you need two? you know, like what's the opponent going to do? Like you never really know. I basically just want to make sure I have a monster in hand that can be normal summoned or special and uh, top deck into another photon monster. Because basically, if you can top deck to another photon monster, you can stay in the game. But if you can't get another photon monster, you kind of lose. Sweet Jesus. Merrick, not you too. Merrick. But Merrick, I... But Merrick, I... I thought you were a rare hunter. I thought you were the master of the rare hunter. Merrick. What are you doing, Merrick? Merrick. You're not supposed to be doing this, Merrick. What are you doing, Merrick? Oh, Merrick. Merrick! Photon stream of 
destruction. My turn is over. Time to hunt. If I draw. Merrick. I play my set card. I activate my spell card. Merrick. Sorry, Merrick. Be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effects. Also, you can. Mm -hmm. From my hand, I activate my spell card. Mm hmm. That yeah, shit about the field. What? Light imprisoning mirror? You fiendish chain! Damn it! Light imprisoning mirror, you scoundrel! You scam artist! <laughs> you scum machine! <laughs> you play fiendish. No! 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 No. No. Bananas. You can banish it if you want. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that's all you that's all you gonna get. That's all you gonna get. You don't get nothing else. You don't get nothing else. That shit crazy. Wow. 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 Light imprisoning mirror. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! You, you scoundrel! You scoundrel! Yeet! Says when uh, this card is activated, add a evil eye card from your deck to the hand. So once per turn, then damage calculation, evil eye monster is attacked while evil eye uh, searing is a spell card. And travel zone, you can make the battle damage. Awesome. Graveyard. Ah. Uh, so basically, alright. Just in case. I'm attacking your beast. Strike him down. Stop. Lord Galactic. You galaxy eyes, photon dragon. Let him have it. Let him have it. Photon. Three. I end All my right. turn. Here goes. You're up. My turn. Don't make the wrong move. All right. Yeah. Don't make the wrong move. Now he's in trouble. He's like, what am I going to do, dog? I don't know what you're going to do. I guess if he top decked into the monster, I'm going to get the vanish on it. So, you know, I like how you can just tear that board up. That's why I love this deck. It's like, all right, well, I need back row removal before I go in. Search back row removal. Back row removal. Go in. What does this do? This is when this card is activated, you can banish one evil eye card from the graveyard. Draw a card once per turn after damage calculation. Evil eye monster attack. You can banish that card there. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a spell charm card. You can target for evil eye cards and return them. 
Okay, that was a pretty good top deck. All right, what else did you get, boy? What else did you get, boy? What else did you get, boy? Mm. Add evil eye monster. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Come on. Yes. That was a pretty good top deck. Top deck into that to grab another. That was a nice top deck. Mm. Sayonara. Yeet. Yes, I'm enjoying it before it gets like, <laughs> you know, banned, limited, nuked, nerfed, disgusted, roasted. Oh, Let's do it. And if you get that photon card up out of your deck, maybe you get some pluses on your deck. All right, here we go. Now, this is a good hand, too, because it's like all monsters. You know what I'm going to do. Well, two in the back row. If I draw a, cos a galaxy cyclone, then I, you know exactly what I'm doing. Gonna do. All right, did not draw a galaxy cyclone. Uh, yeah. Since I can just special summon, I might just go in like with this. Yeah, still go in with the plus. It's over. <laughs> yes! Alright. We've got the Photon Dragon. Let's flip flop. Uh, we're gonna send the Photon Dragon back. I mean, we can either get the Banish or we can get the Destruction. And honestly, I'm gonna go with the Destruction. Because I think he's withholding back and waiting. waiting. Alright, what do we get? Yikes. All right. Is it Dark Magician, though? Like, is he, like, is he rocking Dark Magician, though? Uh, he could be. He could be doing Dark Magician. Uh, I'm gonna hope that he isn't. I exceed, my monster. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't have it. Star Leash Lord Galaxia. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he's got Dark Magician, he's got Dark Magician. Yeah, if he's got it, he's got it. If he doesn't, he does not. Say hello to da, da, na, 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 na. <laughs> I love that shit so much. Alright. I'm gonna try to knock him over the head real quick. Alright. Uh, you gotta give it to me? You gotta give it to me. Come on. It's just Karma Cut. That's GG. Okay. That's fine. I'm not afraid of your dark magicians, Yugi. Their cheeks will be collapsed soon enough. Get on with it. Heart of, the Heart of the cards. It won't save you, Yugi. I'll still clap your anime cheeks. 
We still got a powerful out. A powerful out. I still believe in my cards. I believe all you want. Your cheeks are going to be clapped. I activate the eye of Tamayas. Noni. Tamayas or I. No. My ever faithful companion, Dark Magician. A powerful beast indeed. Time to battle. <laughs> Go, Dark Magician. Ugh. Magic attack. Let's do this. Galaxion. Strike if you dare. Time to clap this fool's cheeks. No more sugar. Special sugar. Special sugar. Rise up, my beast. The other Star Liege. Yes. Paladynamo uses two overlay units to activate its effect. <laughs> Yes, come on out, my beast. <laughs> the time has come, Yugi. It's battle time. I'm lost. Whatever strategies you try, they'll all fail against me. Let's go. Let's go. Move, man. All right. Come on. Lord Galaxion, bless me with the God opening. Oh, no, I'm going to fucking second. All right. Still, Lord Galaxion, bless me with the God opening hand. I need to clap Sartorius in one turn. Sweet Jesus. This is this is nearly it. Ugh. Ugh. Clown. All right. Clown Town. All right. From my hand, Galaxy so like Cyclone on this clown. Nice. Send this back. Galaxy Cyclone on this clown. Fiend Comedian. Okay. Uh, Destiny laughs at you. I reveal my face down card. My trip, uh, I know what destiny has in store for you. I Two karma cut and a fiend comedian. A Great. I so end my turn. All right, draw. All right, here we go again. The summon. Wow! What? What? Look at this! Oh, I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you, bro. 
Now this is why this is why you need fucking Crusher. This is why you need Crusher right here. This is why you need fucking Crusher, bro. This is why you need Crusher. This is this is why you need Crusher and not Lizard. Sometimes you gotta push somebody's chest the fuck in. This man's chest needs to get pushed in. Don't you agree? Peace. Oh, you scam! You you fucking filth! You disgust me! You disgust me! Tell me, cause I'm looking out for you. 